Hi everybody, this is City Readings and hi Aquarius. Let's see what messages will show up for you guys, Aquarius. Let's see. Messages for Aquarius. Aquarius, in case this reading resonates, there will be a reading about your person linked in the description box below for you guys, okay? Uh, we have feeling the world, okay? And by the way, I am going to be reading your guided message more in depth towards the end of the reading, okay? So, um, hmm. Quieting the mind, okay? I feel like a lot of you are wanting to achieve something or you're wanting to go after something, but you've been like, I feel like a lot of you um aquarius you have been reconsidering something okay um i'm also getting that some of you have had problems recently with expressing yourself or you have been like something just feels like it has slowed down a lot of you may have been also feeling like you're not yourself okay um I feel like a lot of you are also very sensitive, okay? You are very empathetic, so you pick up on other people's energies. And for a lot of you, you do need some break because I feel like things around you lately have been very, like, um, draining for you energetically, okay? Yeah, it looks like there's something here that has been very draining for you, that has been draining you or has drained you previously. And for a lot of you, you could be meditating or you could be trying to like calm yourself down, um, really. I, I'm also getting that some of you are perhaps trying to manifest something. Aquarius. Show me what's there for Aquarius. Show me what's there for Aquarius. Meditate and contemplate. This is Piscean energy. Hmm. There's, you know, the word meditation and quieting your mind is coming in again and again. I'm getting that some of you have been feeling very mentally um, stuck on something, perhaps, okay? You've been feeling stuck on something. Show me more. Don't let your past hold you back. Hmm. Maybe there's something from the past, Aquarius, that you keep your you keep reminding yourself of. And this is kind of like not helping you in any way, you know? It is only causing more mental anguish. It's time to release negativity fell on the floor. Let me go grab it. It's time to release negativity. It's time to release what has been holding you back. Okay. Um, maybe a lot of you have been overthinking about something. You know, there's something here that has really been on your mind. Okay. Um, let 
Queen. Yes. See, so I told you like a lot of you have not been you haven't been feeling like yourself okay you have been also very disinterested um you know when it comes to love there's a certain level of discontent and like feeling like when i want something why doesn't it show up for me with the temperance card here i'm also getting that a lot of you are healing and letting go uh, but at the same time, the temperance card also talks about balance and patience, okay? Um, but with the star reverse, I am also getting that this has a lot to do with... Um, feeling disconnected from yourself, okay? Lack of hope in something. Feeling dissatisfied in regards to something. I see you detaching. I see you letting go. Okay. Um, but at the same time, I'm kind of getting that a lot of you are in this energy where it's like nobody should should disturb you. Okay. If if they do, then they're gonna hear something. Okay. You're not to be messed with right now. That is what I see your energy like. Um, death reverse. You're trying to release something. You're trying to let go of something, but there's so much resistance to it. For some of you, there's an issue in the past that you wish to resolve. Okay. But you don't exactly know how it is going to get resolved. What is the death reverse, please? Tower. You know, one thing I'm going to tell you, Aquarius, is that you, you know, no matter what we want, okay, when something is not a part of our destiny, it just does not come to us, right? And it almost looks like there was a situation that fell apart, okay, and it caused a lot of emotional, like, anguish, mental anguish on you. And it, it's almost like you even resisted this tower moment. But the more you resist it, the more it's going to cause, um, mm, how do I say this? It's going to keep you stuck somewhere, okay? Um, I do feel like you wish to get out of this pain or this grief. Um, but, the, you know, the, the energy to figure it out, like how do I actually get out of it is is still there what is the star reverse what is the star reverse ace of swords oh my god the king and the queen of swords both are in the reverse what is going on is there somebody you're avoiding but it also looks like this person is also avoiding you so y'all's energy is very much the same you could you both could be avoiding one another okay You know, another thing I'm picking up from this reading is that, you know, there definitely looks like there's some sort of blockage for you or there's some sort of hindrance for you. But I'm also getting that it's like, you know, when something isn't really going in our favor. Okay. And, you know, it pushes us. It pushes us to think otherwise and it gives us a new perspective. Can you give me this person's energy that Aquarius is dealing with? Nine of Cups, Hermit Reverse, and Magician. You may even see this person as somebody very superficial sometimes.
Aquarius, I keep getting that there's lack of patience in something. Something has been disturbing you. It's like I'm looking forward to something and when is it going to come kind of an energy. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? Yeah, you will end up walking away. Ten of Cups, you know, Two of Cups. Oh my God. So there is so much Aquarius that you don't see coming, given that you do have to walk away from something first. Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This in itself is a new beginning, a new start. And this has a lot of potential. Potential of growth, potential of expansion. You see? Sorry. Um... So yeah, this has a lot of potential. I feel like a lot of you are also going to be starting a new journey in your life. That could be anything like literally starting a new job or doing something new. I see you doing something new because with the don't let your past hold you back, this is some sort of stuck energy, okay? It's time to release negativity and then you're getting eight of cups and the six of swords, which is, you know, both of these cards are the cards of letting go and transitioning. And whatever it is that you have to release from your energy, this is something you are greatly emotionally tied to. Let's use this. Okay. I feel like Aquarius, a lot of you are trying to hold back from something and you're also refraining from engaging with a person. You feel like there's somebody inconsistent and you're trying to ignore them is what I'm seeing. Um, Some of you also have been getting sleepless nights or you've been having a hard time sleeping, quieting your mind, okay? I love how your energies are kind of like all correlating because um, Wait a sec. The world card. You know, when we're coming from a place of this nine of swords, we barely see the opportunities that are in front of us. And that world card is a calling to new opportunities. It's like, look for the new. <clears throat> Some of you have been also wanting to travel. The magician and the five of swords. Oh my God. Some of you are surrounded by people who play mind games with you. That could be in relationship or otherwise, like in your friendships. Okay. You know, when we're wanting to do something, when we're wanting to achieve something, we do have naysayers. But it's like a bump in the road, not something too significant that's going to stop you. What's the three of wands in the reverse? Yeah, oh my God, the high priestess with the high priestess. You're getting the double high priestess energy. Some of you may have Pisces placements, um, Aquarius. What I'm really getting for you guys is that there is somebody like you, you're, it's like you are stopping yourself from waiting for somebody, okay? And I'm also getting, let me adjust this. I'm also getting that a lot of you are in this energy where you're like, 
I know what my intuition is guiding me forward towards so I need to trust my intuition but at the same time same time it is hard for you to do so okay it's like being led by your inner voice and for the longest time I do feel like you were not really listening to yourself You know, this time period for you, what I see is encouraging a lot of self-growth and expansion. Let's see. Show me more. Twin flame, yin yang energy. You're attracting a twin flame. Show me more. They're sneaky. There's somebody from the past who's very sneaky. And I feel like you can tell that this person's sneaky. And engagement ring. Ooh. I see, I definitely see you dealing with somebody in the future. There's, there's an energy of a relationship here. I'm going to read for you quieting the mind and feeling the world and I'm also going to be linking your person's reading underneath the, in the description box if you're interested, okay? Feeling the wor world, uh, sensitivity to the feeling of others, awareness of the whole world and a broader perception, empathy overload and overwhelm. Yeah, some of you are feeling very overwhelmed because with the high, double high priestess energy, this is a lot of psychic intuitive energy okay some of you could also be seeing signs and synchronicities in your dream dreams okay do not mistake codependency for closeness or allow your boundaries to become too porous trust your instincts and take care of yourself practice saying no avoid the temptation to turn off and go numb instead be present somewhere in the middle of this feeling spectrum is where the magic is you're also being asked now to be aware of how your words and actions may affect others. While it's not your job to determine how someone will respond to you, discernment is necessary. Be firm yet kind. Keep in mind that people pleasing will not give you what you truly need. That said, your empathy is beautiful and important. It is just to be balanced in order for you to access its wondrous gifts. Today, celebrate the beauty of your sensitivity and that of others. Beautiful. Quieting the mind. Life is chaotic, busy, loud, frenetic, and overwhelming. Some days are some days all that all that noise is like the roar of thunder echoing around you, and it feels as if you're being pummeled by the rainstorm. Isn't this why we take vacations to get away to somewhere peaceful? Today you need to slow down and find a bit of peace. So go ahead and take a deep breath right now. Make a commitment to be still, if only for a few minutes. Count your breaths and be mindful for every one of them. Know that you have all the time in the world to do things that need doing. Everything is perfect as it is. Today requires you to take an internal break and go to the silent space to regroup. Meditate on the stillness within. Choose a peaceful mind and nothing else. You will be amazed by how easily everything will fall into place once you do. So that is it, Aquarius. Those were the messages that showed up for you. I hope that um, you were open to receive these messages. And I hope that you got something out of the reading. The reading about your person will be linked in the description box if you're interested. Take care and bye-bye.